What's up, everybody? I'm benefiting from this fully watered down industry, and I'm going to try to go back to back perfect seasons. Hey, everybody, Walty Wanders, buckle up, strap in. We got a hard hitting pull, no punches, no sugar coating, no rainbows, no sunshine. I'm just going to give it to you and give it to you straight. We got a good one to unpackage today. Welcome to the show. Hope everybody's doing great. So let's go ahead and tackle the elephant in the room. Eventually, this will find its way onto the broadcasting team. Will we see back to back? perfect seasons i mean if it happens this weekend in hangtown he goes per, he goes one one again friends this is a conversation that needs to be had now here's the challenge for the industry because as much as i love seeing generational talent and i know you do as well and they will they've already been hyping jet up because i mean he deserves to be hyped up right the dude's making it look super easy unfortunately for us we want to see competition now if this was like a bubba where it's just like the bubba scrub yo what's up jet i don't see you doing this Oh my God, the guy's just riding, you know, on the edge of the, his seat. He's ready to toss away at any moment. In fact, a bunch of times he does. That'd be one thing. The dude's like an alien. The dude's body is just made for a moto. He's lean. He's mean. He's a, He's just, he's making it look really, really easy. Even Ricky, our good friend, Ricky, the GOAT. Checkers or wreckers, baby. He was checkers or wreckers to get it done. This guy's making it look way too easy and that's bad that's bad because you know as much as like i said we want to see generational talent we also want to see some racing some competition so really the 450 class will be, be is going to be who's going to get second place it's like that's really what we're up against and with the new playoffs emerging a lot of these riders are, are electing to go super cross only a couple of nationals make points go race the playoffs they're going where the money is and this was all designed to keep riders from going overseas and doing world supercross for the most part I mean, why else would you do this? Because if you, you really want riders to do both series, indoors, outdoors. Now, I'm all about the playoffs. I think that's rad, like a hybrid track. It's kind of like a Daytona, but you call it a playoff. And that's fine. Some extra points, some extra racing. As fans, we got to be stoked because it's more gate drops and it's innovation of the sport. So it's not that we're necessarily opposed to that. It's just the fabric of the industry has kind of changed, in my opinion, because back in the day... You had Supercross and you had Outdoors and everybody did it and it was great. And then you had some off-season King of Bursty type of stuff, some off-season races for these. It was fine. Nothing really needed to be changed. But it all changed when, I don't want to say it, but I'm going to say it, Ricky came in and Ralph and Jeff went out. I got totally burned, Walty. It wasn't even cool. And then all of a sudden this progressive new sport kind of format and it came is now being ushered in and so i mean that's just the where we're at those are the waters we're now swimming in now this used to be a very underground extreme sport you know niche sport really and they wanted to go mainstream they want to sell some electric bikes i get it all right i mean i'm on board i'll go along for the ride but i'm certainly not gonna not acknowledge how it was in the heyday of its sport when the, it was in its heyday, right? Now it's pretty manufactured. It's pretty watered down for the most part. I mean, this is back in the McGrath era, even Ricky, Bubba, like the sport was much, much different. And the fact that we don't even have a Vegas Supercross finale anymore, you're going to get one at some raceway for SMX. And that's cool. I hope it's rad. And I hope the Vegas vibe comes back and the party atmosphere because there's no party atmosphere happening at the uh, Supercross finale in Utah. That should be on the venue. It just should not be the finale. This thing needs to end in Vegas. So hopefully this playoff round in Vegas can do that. It won't be at Sam Boyd, but at least it'll be in Vegas and the riders can go party after and have some fun because that's what it's all about. And this sport, like I said, when I came up, I mean, the, our bad boy is danger now. He's the baddest guy we got and he's squeaky clean compared to what I saw when I was in the industry. I mean, this was gnarly gnarly extreme sports gnarliness gnarly the industry hated it hated fmx it's gone they squashed it you're gonna get football playoffs that's just the way it is the reality is this we asked it on the walty wanders community page of the youtube channel if you're new subscribe jump over and participate in the polling put on an open face what's up it's the flying freckle check out my open face walty and throw some tear offs on because the roost tends to fly we asked it, will we have back-to-back -back seasons from the Wonder Boy, the Moto Messiah, the Chosen One? Is Jet going to do back-to-back -back perfect seasons? Let's go ahead and jump over, take a look at that polling. Then we'll meet back here and wrap it up. Let's get started. 
Hey, buckle up, strap in, roll up your windows, lock your doors. When asked on the Walty Wanderers community page of the YouTube channel, Jet will have back-to-back -back perfect seasons. 42% of you said, yup, he's going to have a perfect season, while 58% of you said, no way, Jose. Well, let's go ahead and take a lap around some of the comments. First up to the starting gate, bang, second shot, Garage pops the clutch and comes in with, as much as I hate to say it, I think Jet goes undefeated. Unless he beats or takes himself out. And that's been pretty much the consensus, brother. Pretty much. The only person that beats Jet is Jet himself. Let's see who's up next. 5-4 Racing comes flying into the first corner full of all kinds of whiskey throttle and says, Could it happen? Absolutely. Do I want to see it? Oh, hell no. Boom. And there it is there. Some straight talk. Let's see who's up next. As McCohen pulls a tear off, goes flying by and says, Depends on if he wants to give Hunter a win. Ooh, and there it is there. Maybe the Wonder Boy will gift his brother a courtesy win. I don't know, man. I'm not holding my breath. Boom, let's see who's up next. PW1210 hits the triple, throws a fat knack-knack and says, Been a while since we've seen this caliber of dominance. Reminds me of the old days. All you have to do is hope that your guy gets second. Because short of an injury, this kid's here for a long time and he will win and there it is there the race for second place is on next up justin greer grabs a handful and says same as last season all the main dudes are out and sexton keeps disappointing what's up next up our boy robert 250 rm on his two smoker comes in with hello walty i don't know it's too early to call if he can go back to back on an unbeaten streak again. And you're right, bro. You're right. We're only through round one. We got a lot of motos to go. Buckle up and strap in because it should be a barn burner. Let's see who's up next. Last but not least for today, Z Fast Joe crosses the checkers and says, Jet was sick with the cold and still stomped the field. And there it is there. Thanks to everybody who participated. Make sure you guys jump over and read the rest, bring your tear offs, and do some bench racing. Now let's get back to the studio. Wrap this thing up. All right, friends, welcome back. And there you go. Thanks to everybody who participated in the polling. Always an honor and a privilege to have you guys doing that. Thanks so much. And all the bench racing insanity. So my thoughts, friends, here it is, dudes. I mean, this is the realities. Jet in the outdoors, it's pretty hard to do. I mean, this is the outdoors when we get to the Southwicks and the and the and the Millvilles. And it's hot and it's humid. I mean, the kid's clearly an alien on the bike. Like if anybody can going handle it, in fact, it might play into his hand. But what can happen? Bikes can malfunction. A lapper can get in the way. You can eat it. Now, luckily, this dude, he when he crashes, he avoids the big crashes. He's like a ballerina. He steps off the bike and just runs it out. And he runs and gathers his bike up and he's got good gets going again and chases everybody down and, and pa repasses everybody like it's going to take a pretty big issue like a broken chain a dnf and even then this guy could probably throw away a moto and still win the series and final thoughts i come to you as a friend as a content creator as a moto guy wants to see you not only went on the track off the track understand the waters you swim in and now shark confessed perfect season welcome to the swimming pool back to back perfect season is on the table this would be insane. It's now become a race for second place. And that's why Walty will be here to blow the lid off it every step of the way. Because it's not only what we need, it's in fact what we deserve. If you appreciate the content, I want to humbly ask you to give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Social media link in the description of this video. If you'd like to follow me there, search up Walty Wilders MX on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to love the next video. And there's an easy subscribe icon for your convenience. As always, thank you for your time. Don't go over the bars. God bless. I'll see you on the next video.